want to give a quick shout out to all of my patrons. Thank you so much for all of the continued support. And I am done. Okay, so I just finished listening to The Dark Forest. This is book two of the Remembrance of Earth's Past series by Jishin Liu. And I want to give you my unedited thoughts upon finishing this book, which was just right now. So this book is crazy good. Um, this is an easy five out of five stars for me. And I'm just, I'm blown away by the quality of this book, especially given that I didn't overly love the first book. I gave the first book a three and a half out of five stars, and I had a lot of problems with it. Problems that I didn't think could possibly be fixed with the second book, because a lot of my problems were the, um, were the writing style. And even though the writing style didn't change, um, the, the content of this book, the, the concepts in this book were so perfect that it just excused all of the writing problems that I had um, with the way that Jishin Liu writes his books. And it's just, it's just nuts to me. I mean, I, this is the first book I think I've ever read where it's legitimately going to change the way that I look up at the stars at night. And that's a beautiful thing. And it, it, I don't think I read a lot of books that really change my outlook on on major concepts in the world. Um, but, you know, looking up at space and the way that I perceive, um, you know, the galaxy and changing that permanently is, is just incredible. It, it, it's, it, it's so crazy. I mean, I think that I predicted I'd give a five, of, five out of five for this. I, I can't remember back when I did my TBR predictions. But yeah, all of the problems that existed in the first book in terms of writing style, the, the flat characters, um, those still persisted, um, but I just, I have to excuse all of it. And so I'm gonna say something that's like a very, I, I believe a very minor spoiler about what this kind of series is about. Um, if you don't want any spoilers in the slightest, and you wanna just be clueless about the basic concept this, of this book, uh, don't watch this review and don't watch any uh, because uh, what I'm going to say will will ruin the the most minor thing that I already knew before I read this, and I don't feel like it ruined anything for me. But um, this series is about um, first contact with with an alien race, and and what that means. Now I've read other books that deal with first contact, but this one does it in such a different way. I mean, usually that first contact is is kind of cut and dry, and what I mean by that is you have aliens that are hostile and they want to come um, at war uh, with our world. And while that is that does exist here, um, it's much more layered than that. And they you understand their motivations and the reason for it. And you don't understand the reason for it so much from the personal side of things. I mean, what goes on in their brains? You get it from the scientific sign, uh, standpoint of why would any alien race be hostile to another alien race? And it introduces you to some very interesting hard science theories, uh, namely uh, the, the namesake of this book, The Dark Forest. And this is a, the concept of the dark forest is not something I'd ever heard before, uh, but it is a scientific theory that I don't believe was developed by this book. I think it was developed before this, but I think it got its namesake from this book. And it's the first time that that theory really uh, went into a lot of depth. And I, I think the very, very basic part um, that I would say, um, actually, I don't want to even say what it is. Uh, don't look up what the Dark Forest is before you read this book, uh, because finding out what that is, is a very magical experience. So I'm going to hold myself from even going that far, uh, because I think it's a, it's a very fun thing to find out. So, uh, you know, in the first book, I had a lot of problems with it. And the problems I had that I already talked about was the fact that it's written very dry. The characters are so bland. And I'm not sure if this is a problem with the translation. You know, maybe if I read this in Chinese, I would feel very differently. Maybe if I really understood Chinese culture, I would understand it in a different way. But I'm not. Uh, I'm American. I read the English translation of this. And it didn't come off great. And the narrator for the audiobook is not amazing either. And... But I still would say the audiobook is very good. It's a very easily digestible book from an audio perspective, so I wouldn't turn off anybody. I've heard from some people that this would be horrible to listen to on audio, uh, but that's certainly not the case. It's uh, So I would recommend that to anybody. 
But the first book has a lot of weird things going on in that it takes a long time to get going, a really long time to get going. It's all this kind of background that even after I read this book doesn't feel like it was needed. Uh, it feels like you could cut off so much from that first story and preserve what the second one does. And it wouldn't have, it wouldn't have changed this one at all. Uh, you know, I didn't need to hear so much backstory on this. I didn't need to understand these weird things about the three body world and this weird computer simulation thing that's going on that just feels so out of place. And even when I finish the series, if, 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 and when I ever read this again, I think I might even just skip the first book or read a synopsis of it and just go straight to this one. You know, I, I do think you need to read it. You know, if just reading a synopsis won't work if you haven't read it before, you need to, but it's, there's some painful sections of it. But by the end of that book, I was hooked. I was in. Uh, the plot really started to hit. And this one just picks off right where, where it finished. Um, well, I shouldn't say it immediately picks off. I'd say like the first 5 or 10% of this, I was like, ugh, here we go again. But then immediately it's like, boom, off to the races. And I, and I couldn't have enjoyed it more from that point forward. I can say a little bit about what this book is. Because it, it, a lot of this book is about this really fun concept. So you've got this alien race that it's on its way uh, to destroy humanity and, and take over the Earth. And it's going to be a while till they get here, hundreds of years, which feels like a really long time. But when you know that aliens are coming, that, that's really not that long at all, when they need a lot of technological progress to happen between now and now and then. And just... Uh, this whole fun, there's so many amazing things about this book, but just the concept of knowing that an alien race is coming and it will be here hundreds of years from now, but you know that it will be here and how that changes the way that the world reacts. How does the world react to that? You can't do anything in the short term. So how do you deal with this in the long term? Because you also understand that these aliens know everything that's going on on earth. And if you make plans, you know that the aliens are going to know about those plans. And how does that change things? Well, the answer to it that's presented right at the beginning of this book that I won't say anything more about, about, but it's that we're going to assign a few people that are going to be in charge of the defense of, of Earth. And we're going to call them wall facers. And their job, there's three of them, is to secretly make plans and not tell a single person about them. Keep them up in your brain. Make plans. Uh, have an incredible amount of funding to make these plans into action. And they, they have the ability to make lots of different plans and nobody but them knows the intention of those plans, what plans are diversions, the truth, and even the truthful ones, what the purpose of those are. And they have to just keep it in their brain forever. It's so cool. It's so cool being seeing things from these people's perspective what their plans are slowly unraveling these three different people's, uh, actually it's four, I think, uh, four different people. And you get to spend time with all these four and like what's going on and how does this happen? Now there's so many more things that I want to say, kind of more than any other book that I've ever reviewed on this channel. I want to talk spoilers so badly. Uh, if you want to talk spoilers with me and you've read this and are just really interested to talk to somebody about it, uh, come join my Discord channel. I'll be around. I'm around all the time. I'd love to chat with you live time about this. Hit the link down below in the description. Join that Discord. Uh, there is a channel here for it. I'd love to chat with you about it uh, and go into details. But rest assured, the concepts are just mind blowing. I, I'm 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 legitimately blown away by what I just read. It, it's, especially like the very ending of this is just magical. How it all finally comes together. To the point where I don't really know how this third book's going to go. It feels like an ending to this story happened, but it's clearly not. There's a third book that everyone tells me is awesome, and that's exciting. I don't know that I'm looking forward to reading another book. I'm reading a lot of series right now. Uh, I'm probably in the middle of 10 to 15 series, and I'm really excited to read a lot of them. But I don't know if I'm more excited than, than this one in, in reading. I think it's called Death's End. And which is a very ominous title. And so, yeah, I can't wait. Sorry, this is so vague. Uh, normally, I can kind of talk in more concepts, but there's just so much that I could say that would spoil so much of the fun here uh, that I just kind of got to wrap things up there. Rest assured, this is awesome. If you like sci-fi, uh, you've probably already read this. Um, if you're not a sci-fi guy and you're more of like a fantasy, which is me, 
there's a lot to love about this. You kind of have to barrel through the first one. You have to be okay with reading a hard science book. There's a lot of science in here. It feels like you're getting smarter as you're reading it. I don't know if I actually am, but uh, it's, but you have to deal with that. Understand the limitations of this book, but understand that there's such an amazing payoff and the concepts here are just mind blowing. And I hope the same happens to you. I suspect it will. I, I don't know that I've heard from a single person that told me they didn't enjoy the second book. And I've talked to a lot of people on my Discord channel about this. And everybody's like, oh, man, I can't wait till you finish the second book. Uh, and I'm here. And I'm, I'm right there with everybody else. So check out this series. It rocks. I can't endorse it more. And I can't wait to keep reading. So that's it for me. Thank you so much. And as always, happy reading to you. Thanks again to all my patrons with a special shout out to my Ascendant tier and Librarian tier patrons. Anna G, CJ, Doust, Darren, Gregory, Jonathan, My Book is Lit, Nathan T, Nev's Book Channel, Orthodoxia, Ron Reich, Russell, Ryan L, Sydney Baker, Tahir, Anna, Andra, Angelo, Blair, Brock, Evan, Fanningsan, Harry B, Joe, Kat Mick, Maria, Michael Sugarman, Sky, TW57, Wacky, and Zion. Thanks for sticking to the end of this video, and if you want to watch some more content from my channel, click over here and I've got some good videos for you. Thanks so much.